The notorious former dictator of Panama, Manuel Noriega, died last night. Noriega ruled Panama with an iron fist in the 1980s. He was an American ally until he was accused of drug trafficking and money laundering. A United States invasion in 1989 removed him from power. Vladimir Dutier of our streaming network, CBSN, has Noriega's complicated relationship with the United States and the law. Former Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega was a fiery voice on the world stage. Known for passionate nationalist speeches and a lavish lifestyle. Born in Panama City in 1934 and abandoned by his parents at an early age, Noriega formally took control of his native country in 1983. Noriega's relationship with the United States was complicated. At one point, he was a CIA informant, but later the U.S. accused him of drug trafficking and tried to force him from power. In 1988, he told Mike Wallace on 60 Minutes that the accusations were a political ploy. General Noriega, have you yourself never profited from the transshipment of drugs from Colombia to Panama to the United States? Nunca. Never. Never. I directed our armed forces to protect the lives of American citizens in Panama and to bring General Noriega to justice in the United States. A year later, President George H.W. Bush sent troops to overthrow Noriega's regime. He escaped the initial attack, but later surrendered to U.S. soldiers. A new breeze is blowing. The day of the dictator is over. The dictator went on trial and then to prison, first in the United States on drug charges and then in France for money laundering. In 2011, he returned to his native Panama, where he remained behind bars. And while Noriega died last night at the age of 83, in March, he fell into critical condition after suffering a hemorrhage after surgery to remove a brain tumor. No official cause of death has been given, Gail. Thank you very much, Vlad.